Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Say hi. Can you say it right there? Look right there. Say hello everybody. Okay, you guys, so I mentioned doing the magic of tidying up the Marie Kondo method in my last video, which was like my 2019 goals. So we're gonna start attacking that today. I know she says to go by like, what does she say? Like clothes, paper products, personal items, like things like that. I'm gonna just go room by room because it's gonna be a lot more manageable for me with the baby and just with work and everything. I don't have like a full three or four days to like dedicate to it. I just gotta do it when I find time. So tonight we are gonna do the kitchen. It's like 3.30 right now, no it's four. And we'll just see how long it takes if it turns nighttime during this video and the lighting changes. Sorry, but it gets dark here so early. I'm wearing my Boss Babe Good To Be sweatshirt. So we're gonna take care of business and we're gonna make this kitchen super organized. So today I'm just gonna declutter and then we will organize tomorrow. I think I'm gonna start first by just picking everything up and getting the dishes loaded into the dishwasher and putting away what's in there now and kind of wiping down the counters so we have a clean area to work with. So let's do that first. my whole center island so now I can start to take things out of the cupboard what I'm gonna do is basically just get everything out so I can see what I have kind of categorize it and then see what I need to get rid of what I need to donate whatever all that kind of stuff so I am gonna first just go through all of the cupboards I know it's stuff like some of them are so full that things just like fall out and some have literally nothing in them so this is probably gonna be like just a quick time lapse and you guys will see me put everything under the counter and the table stuff out on my counter table like everywhere I'm running out of room so I'm gonna have to start putting some things back in because I literally have no more room but I took out everything from all the top shelves which would be like our daily cups and plates things that we use to put food on like that kind of stuff and the bottom is all like cooking stuff so it makes sense to kind of break it up this way and now I'm gonna just kind of purge things that we no longer use or need or things that I want to store just for like if we have people over that we don't use on a daily basis but things that I still want to keep I'm gonna put those either like downstairs or just somewhere else where I have more room But for here and now I just want to keep things that we use on a daily basis So like I used to have this whole cupboard full and as of right now I just have in like our plates that we use every day bowls and Julian's bowls So keep it super simple and minimal and clean Okay, you guys, it has been like an hour and 20 minutes. Sorry if you can still hear the dishwasher, but I am now moving on to the island cabinets, and these are the worst one. This is like our junk goes in here. Look at this. This is so bad. What? I don't even know what this is. Plastic spoons from our gender reveal. Paintbrush from when we painted Julian's room. Serving platters, work stuff, paperwork. Literally anything you can imagine. So I really need to go through all these. Should we keep these? <laughs> okay, so that took less than five minutes to empty it out. I have serving trays and stuff that I use when people come over down here. 
some overflow down there and then just a couple candles. Usually I don't get to burn up all of my candles, like my holiday candles. Sometimes it takes me like two seasons, so I usually keep them. And then these are just two candles that can be burned like at any time, so I do like to save them if I don't use them all. This is like so bad. These two cupboards are like my worst. Like look at this. Oh wow. So these are just all like Keurig things which we don't really use the Keurig anymore and didn't use them up. Let's see some hot chocolate from last year. Coffee beans which we don't even have anything to use that with. I do like this little tea case. Just I've obviously used up most of my tea so I need to get some more tea and get rid of the expired ones. Okay, so most of this stuff has not been used in like years, but there is a couple teas I can use and save. Okay, now is the hard part actually getting rid of the trash and the expired things and just like the paperwork and stuff that we don't need and then seeing what we can donate. So that's gonna take me probably a couple hours, but I think other than that, I'm pretty much done for today and then tomorrow we'll work on the fridge and the pantry. So it has been a couple days and let me just say I have really enjoyed having everything kind of like cleared out and organized. There's two more little drawers I need to go through but the big things that I want to do today is tackle the pantry and the fridge. So Michael and I are actually only going to be in town for another week or so. We're going to go to our condo but I still want to tackle this. That way when we get home we have a fresh clean space to be in. Let me show you the pantry right now. It's kind of a mess. that we're focusing on today is trying to organize this pantry kind of get a system so I did a video a couple years back where I did like an overhaul of this pantry and the system has worked out okay I don't feel like there's enough organization and enough kind of like bins and basket type of things to really organize it it's just kind of like everything does have an area where it goes in but that's about it so I want to go through make sure anything that's gonna go bad or is bad is out of here so we don't come home to a bunch of expired food and just kind of get it looking nicer. That way you can actually see what we have, eat our food before it goes bad. That's the problem right now is when things get like down here, they get covered. You don't even remember that you have it. So let's see, here's what I got. You guys can pick up all these organization things from the container store or I usually get them on Amazon, a little bit better of a price and then I don't have to deal with the container store situation, which is just like overwhelming trying to know what to get. So I got a couple of these like cookie jar things I thought would be good for like little snack type foods and they kind of are nice where you can see everything. I got a couple more clear containers. These I think are gonna be awesome. A couple of Lazy Susans, I thought they could go in the middle. I could put oils, peanut butters, that kind of stuff on here where you have a little bit of everything. That way you can kind of spin it around. I also got a bunch of new spice containers so we can keep that super organized and make that look nice. Then I picked out some of these glass jars from Amazon that we can put noodles in, we can put, I don't know, black seed, chia seed type of stuff in here, like smoothie bowl type of stuff. So I think this is gonna be nice. I'm excited to kind of have an overhaul, get everything organized. So we're gonna do exactly what we did with the rest of the kitchen, take everything out, put it on the counter, and then work our way back. That way we can actually clean everything too. It's important to actually clean and not just like declutter and throw stuff away, but actually sanitize, wipe things down, you know the drill. So time lapse now. I've taken everything out, it's all on my counter displayed here. So what I'm gonna do is actually take all of my like organizational things, try to come up with a plan that would flow the best and then I'll start adding the food back in. I'm also gonna wash all those so they're clean and you guys will see how it comes out in the end. You did it's that not all, completely done you yet. You did it all today. I did oh it all in the last like hour. Oh my God. Husband approved. <laughs> Holy crap, I can't believe you did that. 
I have not received all of my organizational stuff yet from Amazon. It's supposed to all get here by tomorrow. But in the meantime, I made it work with what I have and I see exactly where I have little holes and need the other things. So I'm gonna check and see what I got and make sure I have everything I need. But look so far. It is such a difference already. I literally can't even believe I'll, I did all this in like an hour and a half. And props, my kitchen is also not clean. Michael, I mean, not dirty. Love it. Yeah, the kitchen is not a mess. The pantry is super organized. So I have extra drinks up top, cereals, baking stuff, things that we use on a more daily basis, snacks, baby stuff, protein powders, breads, canned stuff, and more snacks. So I'm hoping to get a couple organizational things to put these in put the rest of those cereals in and then I have one empty for any other snack so these things are great for like when you go to Costco and get like a bunch of bars and snacks and stuff kind of like a grab and go so here is our refrigerator right now it's totally a mess it looks overstuffed but it probably it's just piled in here badly so it looks overstuffed but Definitely want to go through here so we can get rid of anything that's going to go bad while we're gone and make sure we use up the food that's good before we leave and just kind of get it organized. I have some like leftovers in here that probably need to get taken out too. So first we're going to take everything out and wipe it all down. So the fridge only took about 20 minutes because I actually go through this almost weekly whenever we get new groceries in. I like to go through and make sure the fridge is clean and see what we need for recipes and stuff. So I always like to keep drinks up top. I think it's so funny because normally when people do like declutter kitchen videos, it's like a bunch of different types of water and juice and like healthy things on the top. And mine is Red Bull Celsius and Diet Coke, but whatever. That's just what we really drink and it's what we need. So I love it. And then down here we have all of our stuff for coffee. We have almond milk, half and half, coffee mate some more waters. When people come over, I like to offer them a bottle of water. So I do keep some bottle of water on hand always. And then eggs we eat pretty much every morning. Some yogurt, cottage cheese, snacks, more cheese. This is meat for recipes. This is just some leftovers from dinner last night. I have some veggies in this drawer. Some more veggies in this drawer. And then in this one, I keep deli meats, cheeses, and um, these tortillas are great for like little egg wraps. And then these ones are great for lunch wraps. So that's pretty much the fridge. On this side, I just have, like I said, some water and stuff over here. The same thing, some condiments. I do love to keep my face sprays in the fridge. I think that's nice to look refreshing that way, but here is the fridge. I didn't end up using any organizational things in here because I feel like our fridge is pretty organized like without it. I think that these shelves and these drawers really help keep everything contained and I don't really feel that it's necessary. So this is just what I did. Quick and easy and it's pretty easy to maintain too. Okay, and then just walking you through the rest, here is the final pantry. So pretty, I have drinks up there. I ended up putting those cereal in those bins. You guys, we are obsessed with it. And this pantry felt so overstuffed, but now that I've organized it, it feels like just the right amount. So I'm obsessed. I got this basket for the bread. I just think it looks so nice. And it actually helps me to snack less because I feel like I have tons of healthy options right available to me. I've got little bars, I've got some rice cakes, just like easy things. So I love it. Here is the spice drawer. I ended up going through here. Most of my spices were expired. So this ended up working out perfect. I got this thing, you think from Amazon, but possibly William Sonoma. I will link as many organizational things as I can. In here, this has been super nice to just have organized. You don't need organizational things everywhere. Just really to go through and keep it to just what you need helps. So in here I just have baking pans. Coffee. In here I just have our medicine and just obviously covering our info on the prescriptions and oils. Cups and mugs in here more mugs oh that's they're all in the dishwasher but i gotta put them away 
And lastly, I already showed you guys this, but here is our plates and bowls. So we are pretty much organized.